start out with our thread and dress the base, the whole shank of the hook. And because this is an articulated fly, we're going to go ahead and build in our connector first. So that basically our trailer, our stinger hook, can uh, trail off the back of it. In order to do that, we're going to use Beetalon 19 strand. This is beater's wire. You can get it in the craft store. And we need about two lengths worth of the hook shank. And you do not want to cut this with your regular scissors. Then we will take a size 16 swivel that I've cut the little swivel end off. And then we'll take the one end of the wire and feed it through the end of the swivel. Then I'll take a couple of small ruby beads. Again, I just got these at the craft store. And I slide them on right up next to the swivel. So you basically have a situation like that. And then we want this hanging off just so that the swivel starts where, just about at the, the bend of the hook where the hook ends there. Just lead-free wire <coughs> and I'm just going to wrap that on the shank right up at the eye of the hook. Just now at the back work. here the first thing we're going to tie in is our dark brown rabbit strips and you can again vary this uh, color according to however you want so it's just this kind of a style I guess and I, I want to measure it from double the length of the shank here. Do the old splitting of the hair trick. Another reason this gel spun thread is so good because it really can cinch down this rabbit on the... and I just take hook. my chenille and the wiggly hackle and I'm going to tie them in right together. And now I just give this hackle bunch a few twists so that it sticks together and then you want to kind of tease out the fibers a bit so they don't bind into each other. And then I'm just going to start wrapping this forward. And as you wrap, you need to make sure that you pull back and preen every successive wrap that you do. And so you just keep wrapping and preening back as you go. And again, when you're cutting this off, you want to use your nasty scissors because you don't want to booger up your good Dr. Slicks. Now the next step is probably optional, but I kind of think it gives a nice little... Player. I'm going to grab two uh, strung guinea feathers and I'm going to tie them in soft hackle style. And tie them off back at an angle. Okay, for the next part, I'm going to tie in some legs. And so I'm just going to use these fishing skirt legs. You can get them from fishingskirts.com. And just tie there right up the top on the halfway point of the legs. Now for the next piece, I like to use squirrel instead of rabbit because the fibers aren't as long. I don't want to cover up all my buggy material back here, so I want something that will uh, still give me a nice body. And so that's why I'm going to use these uh, zonked squirrel skins, and this is a crawdad color. Again, these, these are not, not cross-cut, these are zonked. So, with cross-cut you don't have to be as preeny. The body all tied in, I'm going to go ahead and kind of make a part for the rabbit that we had tied in at first. Okay, once we've get, once we've gotten the head cleaned up and good, then that's it for the tying on this part. So we're just going to add a quick whip finish and we'll move on to the foam. Alright, the foam 
is just a piece of two millimeter white foam and you can adjust this to however you want the head to appear but it's just this shape like that kind of a triangular shape with the tip cut off and that's going to make the color around the back so it's going to go on like that and what I need to do is I need to to glue this onto itself so I'm going to apply some super glue and apply it All right, once we've got the head glued on and you notice I made sure that I got the little uh, two pieces to come together and I glued those as well <clears throat> that's just going to create the bulk of our head and kind of squeeze it into shape to get the glue to go into the materials and get everything to stick together now I'm going to grab my uh, airbrush gun and I'm just going to give this some colors to match and so I'll just use an orange and a brown and maybe a little black Once the head is colored, you can just do this with regular markers too. I'm going to take my eyes. These are just 3D asymmetrical eyes. And for the finish on the head, you can use 5 minute epoxy or you could use you know, whatever you want. I'm going to use some really cool epoxy type stuff called Clear Cure Goo. If you want some, it's clearcuregoo.com. Say that three times fast. And this is a UV cure system, so I'm going to have a little light here that I'll cure it. This is the thick stuff. And it's nice, you just simply slide the cap off. There's no two part uh, stuff to mix, and then you just basically give it some gentle uh, pressure, and it's going to start to come out there, and we're just going to apply it. A thin coat over the high, the whole head. All right. Once you're you've got your coating on there, we just simply take our light and cure it. Notice that the UV fibers kind of have a nice little glow as well here. So this is a UV fly through and through. I uh, just need a few seconds with the light. It's a specialized light that comes with the uh, goo. Again, you can just get all that stuff at clearcuregoo.com. puke. Nice thing is with these swivel based stingers you can actually tie in different colors and swap these out by just unsnapping that swivel and using a different color as the trailer. So you could do an all white body with a red trailer or a all black with a chartreuse trailer. Just mix and match. It's a great uh, little pattern.